Hey guys, thank you for all the support on my science series recently. I've really been appreciating that. So today I'm going to be talking about an astrophysics concept, which is gravitational lensing. So before I get into the actual phenomenon itself, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a background. I feel like with a lot of scientific concepts, you need to know some backstory before you can get into the actual principle itself. So with that, I'm going to have to very briefly explain um, Einstein's theory of relativity. I'm going to probably do a separate video on it, but just to give you really the bare essentials you need for the understanding of today's vlog. So basically, what we're trying to do is test the general theory of relativity. So Einstein had first the special theory of relativity in 1905, and then he had the general one in 1915. So basically, uh, the difference between them is the general theory of relativity includes both space, time, but also gravity and acceleration. So it added another component to help kind of explain more things going on in the universe, such as black holes, which is something I'd like to talk about in future lectures as well. So basically what you need to understand for today is that all motion is relative and that everyone always will measure the same speed of light because the speed of light is a constant. In mathematical formula, you'll see it usually as C. That is what it's denominated as and the constant itself is 300,000 kilometers per second, so pretty damn fast. So space itself is curved due to gravity, which is taken into account in the special theory of relativity, and this you can observe this actually through the trajectories of light in the universe. So basically what light wants to do is try and take the straightest path possible because it is a constant, it is neither accelerating or decelerating. So logically, if space itself is curved, then the observable light trajectories you're going to see are also going to be curved in space as well. So what I'm going to do is perform a little bit of a thought experiment to explore, explore this a little further. So what you want to do in this experiment is basically measure the angular separation between two stars during the daytime when the sun is out. And basically, um, you're going to see that you're going to see that the light from one of the stars is going to be passing near the sun and you're going to be taking that into account. So what the angular separation is if you're wondering is not only the distance between the stars but the perceived distance from your spot on earth as well. So basically the curvature of space near the sun would cause the light beam passing closer to it to curve more than from the other star. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of depict that through a little drawing I made to help explain that a little bit to you guys. So ignore my artistic skills here. There you go. So basically what this image depicts here is that in the middle you're going to have the sun here and all of this roundness around here is basically the curvature of space-time which Einstein is describing. So let's say we're here, this is Earth over here. And you're going to have star A and star B, like I was explaining in this thought experiment. So what's going to happen is the light from star B is going to go basically directly to Earth. That's very little space-time curvature here, so you're going to see it as just kind of a direct straight manifestation like this. But over here with star A, you're going to experience a lot more curvature here due to the mass of the Sun and due to the curvature it's causing from its gravitational field. So what's going to happen is you're going to have a curvature like this. But on Earth, what we're going to see is the straightest possible uh, path that light can take. So for us, it's going to appear a straight line like this. So what this is going to do for us is it's going to make the angular separation between the stars look a lot shorter. It's going to be perceived to be here. This star is going to move down to here for us. And they're going to be appear to be this close rather than this distance apart. So basically, that is what's happening in this phenomena, and the way we're able to test this is that you can take the actual uh, measurements at night when the sun's not out and be able to see this discrepancy and understand this curvature phenomenon that's going on here. So that's just for the background. So to take this a step further, now I can explain the actual gravitational lensing phenomena as well. So basically, this is another thought experiment to get you guys thinking a little bit more about this. Another exciting drawing to come in a moment. So picture that there's a distant star or galaxy that lies behind another object, which has a very strong gravitational field. So what's going to happen is the strong, the really big mass of this large object is going to curve space-time, much like the sun was able to do. 
and this is going to alter the light paths. So basically what's going to happen is the alteration of the light paths is going to cause a distortion or a magnification of the image of what's lying behind it. So you're going to experience either arcs, rings, or multiple images of the same object due to this phenomenon, which is gravitational lensing. And so this is basically the same phenomenon as what happens with the light entering through a lens, like in your glasses, and bending of the light in that way. So I will just end by showing you another uh, depiction of this. Please give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoy the little badly drawn drawings to kind of depict things better, because some of you might be more visual. So this is the next example. As always, we have this nice curvature I'm showing you guys here that has uh, the curvature of space-time. This time we're going to pretend the Earth is right here. This is where we are observing from. This is the very large mass here, either a sun or something really big that has a large gravitational pull. And here is the actual star or the galaxy that is hidden behind it from our vantage point. So what's going to happen is the light is going to go around the large object like this due to the gravitational lensing effect, due to the gravitational pull. And sorry, the lensing itself is going to be for us, we're going to see the image projected here and here of the actual real object. That's the gravitational lensing phenomenon. So what happens for us is we're looking at the straightest possible um, light here from Earth. So it's going to go straight like this, straight like this due to this phenomenon. And instead of seeing the actual real galaxy or star in question, we're going to see these two copies of it due to this phenomenon. So I know this was a little bit more complex maybe than my first one. I hope you guys enjoyed and understood. If you have any further questions or discussion, feel free as always to comment down below. And please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching my precious gems and I will see you all on Monday for Introvert Island. Bye everyone.